Basically, I was in a bad cycle and today it completed. So we're going to go into this story. I want to share how I started on-site land works, how the idea came to be, because originally it wasn't what it is now. And so that's awesome, dude. That's freaking baller. And stuck as all, dude, for real. Finally got the girls ready to go. Added a bunch of this fire hose to both of these units. This is a thousand dollars this morning in our entire morning, but we're looking good. Now we've got the quick couplers all done, the turn valves done, everything fire hosed up. So when I jumped into forestry mulching like nine months ago, my buddy Richard was like, don't put this on YouTube. Don't tell people about this shit on YouTube. But now, nine months in, the truth of it is, it takes so much custom fabrication and so much like custom engineering that not everyone's gonna make it. Name of the game just don't get stuck. Do a little prep evaluation of this swamp. It's gonna get soupy. It's gonna get soupy. Here's a what I am slowly sinking. Can't get out. Can't get out. I mean, I could get out. I could go out that back window. Then I have to put that back window in. That would be a bitch. So we're just gonna wait for someone to yank us out. Stuck for about coming into an hour. It's getting deeper. It's like being at a science project. Almost completely buried. Good thing is we have a tow truck here now, so we'll see how this goes. That was fun times. But what's interesting about today is that today is the first day that I would say engine one is ready to freaking go like literally there's nothing on engine one that's not like freaking money like and ready to just freaking print except for the fact appreciate that Doug uh, inviting followers always a help except for the fact that it doesn't have an air compressor on it but it does over there I just haven't put it on the trailer yet but I got a big daddy freaking air compressor what up LaMarche so uh, real quick little recap or not a recap but little intro this is the rig my History is in mowing lawns. I built and sold five lawn businesses. I built and sold my first one in high school, and I sold it a week after I graduated high school for 50K. So it was pretty good. I was 18, I had 50 grand. I didn't know what to do with my 50 grand. I was really interested in an idea called biodiesel because before I sold the business, I bought my first 7.3, which is a diesel engine. And I was like, dude, I wanna build, I wanna build biodiesel out. So I spent 50 grand and I didn't, I didn't have like a final product really. Like I had my truck going, but like it wasn't like a business. So I went and started another lawn business and sold that. And then I put it more into biodiesel and then that didn't really pan out. So I started another lawn business, built that, started another one, built that, and started a supply company. And when I started the supply company, I was like, yes, this is what we need. This is what we're going to do. We'll go back to biodiesel maybe later on. And it turns out that the supply company kind of morphed into what is now on-site Landworks. So I kind of failed into on-site Landworks. Supply was good. It was a good idea. In your, like, it depends on your area. But when I found the Landworks side of things, I was like, whoop, this is the freaking ticket like forget inventory, forget any of the other stuff. Like it wasn't my thing, it wasn't my passion. For the most part, yeah, little nut name change, but for the most part, my history is in mowing, my history is in maintenance, my history is in knocking down vegetation and getting paid to do so, right? And so the rig that I have now, as far as mulchers go, as far as like Landworks guys go, it's pretty, pretty legit. Uh, it would be maybe criticized by some, it depends on what, what level they're at. But as far as where I'm at, where I'm sitting at, I'm four years into this business. Really, I kind of consider this like a fresh start, fresh business, because I kind of just got in, you know, renamed it. I did a new LLC. I did, you know, I kind of started it like that. But 
Uh, I'll just go into the to what the rig is, right? So the rig is just a flatbed trailer, typical like regular trailer, just like I had when I was mowing lawns. I've got two zero turn units on there, and then obviously I've got a truck. What's interesting about the Landworks rigs is that like everything I've got on this truck, and then when I had my mowing rigs, they were kind of the same same situation. Uh, but I have figured out, or I am in the process of getting figured out as to how to make these things freaking print cash. And I've like failed into figuring that out because it's not that freaking simple. And I've also thought like at certain times we were gonna do just supply or at certain times we were gonna do just landscaper services or we were gonna do just mulching. And the truth of it has been is that we've always kind of had our main thing, the thing that we did 80% of the time and then we've always made a little bit extra cash on smaller other activities. Those might be like aeration if you're in the lawn care business or fertilization or adding irrigation services or whatever it might be. But I want to show you guys what it is that I've got going as far as a rig because I think it's a unique, sorry about that connection bro, but I think it's a unique, um, I think it's a unique business model. It's all about getting your flow and it's about failing kind of into your ideas. So originally I started out in like lawn care I built those and sold those and biodiesel didn't work out so I went back to lawn care, built those, sold those because I knew how to build and sell businesses. So my real talent was building and selling lawn businesses. And I went into supply and I sort of kind of failed, pretty much failed out of that. Um, learned a ton and then went back into vegetation mowing and I will eventually sell this business but really I think I'm going to probably sell the idea of building and selling businesses, right? Through my online courses and things like that. You guys have seen those. Um, but I'm in the mulching side of our industry, the landscaping space. It's not really land clearing. It's a little bit like land clearing, but it's not like big boy daddy status, and it's not mott lawn mowing. You know, it's not like that. But it's a situation where it's like me and a buddy, and we roll out like this, and we go out all day, and we just mess stuff up. I mean, that's just what we do. And the way that this rig is set up is the fixed cost of this rig, right? So I haven't paid this rig off yet, right? The machine course is gonna be in the fall, fall 17. And I'm gonna take you guys all, for, all the way from like how I started in machines, all the way out to this level. And then I'm gonna take you to my buddy David's level, which he's at the million dollar level. So we're gonna go like basically from the beginning all the way up to like, here's a kid who's got like 800 grand in machines. Um, but this, this whole rig here is not yet paid off. The fixed costs for everything here is this is a $3,500 a month situation, right? So obviously we've got a shop that the thing has to sit at, so it's a $600 a month shop, but this whole rig situation is $3,500 a month. What's unique about that is that I had an $8,100 a month payroll with my lawn company. I was doing about $15,000 a month in revenue for mowing and maintenance, obviously other costs, and then we'd make more money on our landscaping. This particular rig, the way that it sits, right? So truck, all the tools, toolboxes, these two attachments. This is a big heavy duty mower deck. This is a big uh, mulcher down here. Um, this rig we charge $2,700 a day for, right? So it's me plus a bro. I pay him $250 and then fuel, and normally fuel's like $200. Bucks. So I pay like $450 and then wear and tear. And so we go out and we bill 27. So if we can come back with like two grand, like a grand per unit, then that's awesome. If we can do that two days a month, then I've made my costs, right? And if I've made my costs, then I'm good to go.